Hey everyone, I'm Azumitsu and I'm bringing you the second part to silly things I used to think about Pokemon. I wasn't originally planning on making a second part, but a lot of you guys wanted to see me discuss more silly things I used to think as a kid, and I didn't want to disappoint. To check out part 1, click on the annotation on screen. If however you're watching from a mobile device or you have annotation switched off, do not worry, the link to the video will be in the description below. But because I know how much you guys love hearing stories of how much of an idiot I am, let's commence! Kicking off this video, I have to mention a moment that I didn't originally want to put in part 1 because I was too embarrassed to admit it, but I decided I should after talking it through with some of my friends. <laughs> LOL JK, I don't have any friends. So we all remember in generation 3 when natures were introduced right? We all know specific natures are best suited for a specific Pokemon based on their battling capability, the niche you want it to fill in your team, or just to help boost a specific stat. So for example, modest nature boosts the Pokemon with this nature's special attack by 10% whilst decreasing its physical attack by 10%. This is ideal because, well, a special attacker won't be using physical moves anyway. When I first came across natures, I didn't really understand them all too well. So in generation 3 when I owned a Togepi, I knew it would evolve with Max Friendship, but I didn't understand that I needed to keep Togepi at the front of my party for it to evolve. Instead, I started asking around for a Jolly Nature Togepi because I thought, Jolly equals happy equals friendship equals it'll evolve. <laughs> no, we failed! When Chimeco was first announced, I was convinced it was a steel type. Me trying to be the know-it-all, I always tried taking this thing out with flamethrower. Even to this day, I sometimes forget it's not steel type, but a psychic type. Gosh, you freaking deceiving Pokemon with your silly typings trying to scare me by looking like a steel type and making me withdraw my fairy types. F*** you. Back in the day, I used to base how good a move was based on its base power, ignoring its accuracy or its additional effects. So I used to always get so mad when Fisher used to never land. <laughs> So when I was a kid, well, this still applies to me now, I'm always looking for shortcuts or what some people like to call laziness. I thought the best way to level up your Pokemon wasn't by incessantly grinding or giving them rare candies. LOL, I ain't wasting any candies. Ain't nobody got time for this. <clears throat> I would leave my Pokemon at the daycare, hoping they'd level up. I would leave my Game Boy running for hours and hours whilst I did some other stuff, only to come back and realise my Pokemon hadn't levelled up. Like at all. I guess the moral of the story here is combining stupidity with laziness isn't a good mix at all. Okay, please don't laugh at this one. When Generation 2 was first announced, I learned about the breeding mechanic and I began making my own theories about it. I somehow was led to the assumption that genetics ran similarly to real life. Is this real life? But that all Pokemon were compatible with each other. So for example, I thought breeding an electric type like Pikachu with a flying type Pidgey would result in a dual type electric flying type, ignoring the fact that Pidgey was already normal flying. Yeah, I was a stupid kid. Pico Pikachu, Axie. This one is kind of thanks to you guys because I realised I thought the exact same thing. I didn't really understand the difference between special and physical moves, like at all. So most of my Pokemon had mixed sets, which wasn't too bad for beating the game with, but if I ever used my Blastoise from back in the day with the moves that I ran, I really wouldn't get too far. For your enjoyment, my Blastoise moveset was Surf, Focus Punch, Ice Beam and Rain Dance. Don't even freaking ask. Hey, have you ever played through a whole Pokemon game and one of the NPCs uses like a stat decreasing move on you, like Tail Whip or String Shot? Yeah, I used to think if this move was used on you that your respective stat would be decreased permanently and there was nothing you could do about it. I remember facing countless opponents using these moves on me and I'd get so upset over having my Pokemon stats being decreased and hating that NPC for doing that to me. Thank goodness that really isn't the case. Right, I'm blaming the anime for this one, I don't even care. As a lot of you may know, in the Pokemon anime there was an episode entitled A Poached Ego, where a poacher was on a mission to poach some wild poison type Pokemon. As the episode progressed, both Jesse and James encounter a cage full of stolen coughing and ekins. At first they wanted to steal the Pokemon for themselves, but as soon as Arbok and Weezing let their trainers know how they felt, they decided to try and release the coughing and ekins to try and help them out. When they encounter the poacher responsible for caging the wild coughing and ekins, he calls out his Pharaoh and then Pupitar to battle. The poacher even says to Jesse and James at one point to hand over their Pokemon and he'd let them go. So where am I going with this? Well, I thought if Tyranitar went up against an Arbuckle Weezing, you'd have to surrender your Pokemon if you lost. Luckily as a kid, this situation never arose. I was always a bit wary about having my Arbuck at the front of my party in case I ever encountered a Tyranitar. Man, I was such a weird kid. <laughs> What made me feel so much better about this is that I'm not on my own. Yes, I'm a special kind of idiot, but I'm so glad there are others who had some daft, funny assumptions about Pokemon too. So I went to Twitter to ask my followers some silly things they thought, as well as reading all the comments on my previous video, and the responses were hilarious.
Making this video made me realise that sometimes it's okay to laugh at yourself. To make a mistake is human, to stumble is commonplace, to be able to laugh at yourself is maturity. But thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you did enjoy it. What are some of the things you thought that were silly about Pokemon? Leave a comment below stating what they were because I'd love to know. If you want, make a video about it. And if you do, be sure to link it to me because I'd love to watch it. Also, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it because that'll really, really help me out. Or leave a dislike if you didn't, leaving a reason why because feedback is very important to me. Follow me on my social media profile there will be a link to them in the description below and make sure to subscribe so you're notified when I upload next. But I'm Ozimitsu, until next time.